Hi, my name is Rick Howell. I'm a TV guy, and this show is called Talk Back to Television. It's about the business of television, how we make the programs, how we distribute the programs, and mostly how we pay for the programs. Because if we can't pay for the shows, there's nothing to watch. Stay tuned. Uh, hi, this is Talk Back to Television, and I am here with Grant Hall, who's CEO and founder of Nubio. I think I pronounced that right, right? Absolutely. And the importance to all of my audience is that they manufacture and distribute Tableau, which is, I think, uh, a device that is a game changer. And I've heard other people say that about other things in our business, but I'm just going to give you the pitch. Tableau allows viewers to pick up over-the-air broadcast with a simple antenna that happens to be a pretty good quality antenna um, with a built-in DVR. And it's the first time I have seen anybody be able to use a DVR that is not either a cable or satellite subscriber. So it it's a big deal. But having given that pitch, Grant, how are you? I'm great. Thanks for having me on the show. Where are you talking as to us from? We're actually based uh, up in Ottawa, Canada, so the Great White North. All right. And you founded Nuvio a few years ago, and you acquired another company, and you said, this is good, but it could be better. Tell us just a little bit about that. Yeah, sure. I um, My background is largely in telecommunications. You know, I work with companies like Alcatel and Nortel and uh when, Altitude, when Nortel went bankrupt, I um, always wanted to start my own company. And that's when I, you know, took the opportunity and founded Nubio. So, you know, we, we started building a product that took all your home media and put it onto your tablet or smartphone and uh, launched that product at Demo 2011. And then, uh, you know, got it into the market. You know, we we're still bootstrapping the company at that point. Um, and one of the feedback from the customers is we love our the ability to get our home media like photos, music, you know, uh, videos, you know, uh, TV shows on our on our tablets or mobile devices. But I'd love to watch, you know, the the hockey game or to see the local news when I'm traveling. And uh, and we thought, man, that's that's an interesting use case. So we uh, added a USB tuner to that product, and then that was the epiphany. We discovered that there was all this, you know, fantastic uh, quality HD TV you know, being broadcast, you know, by every TV station in the U.S. And all you needed was a little antenna, you know, to get that that uh, that quality signal, you know, often better than cable and satellite. Um, right. and, and and best of all, it's free. So we uh, pivoted the company and we, we um, started to develop the product you see today or, or the first generation of it, which is the uh, Tableau, you know, digital video recorder. So um, we launched that uh, 2014 at CES, you know, got a lot of press, uh, great response, you know, started to, um, you know, increase the number of devices we could support, you know, so we, in the end, supported, you know, all the ecosystems, Apple, you know, Apple TV, Apple phones, uh, tablets, we support the whole Google ecosystem, we support the Amazon Fire TV ecosystem, and, and many smart TVs and other devices. So, Net net, you could enjoy you know your local TV, um, you know both live and recorded on any device you had in the home or even while you were traveling. So, so that's where we we started the company and you know sold through Best Buy, through Amazon, and and built a pretty um, you know strong presence in the market. I think we were you know the leading brand in that space. Okay, so now you mentioned traveling. Um, if I am in a hotel in San Francisco. Can I talk to my Tableau here at home and pick up those broadcast channels? Not yet. That's a feature we're looking okay. at adding. But with the present product, uh, no. It, okay. It's confined to the home, the local network at this All point. Right. But that that's in development. And I, I see on the whiteboard behind you, I think I can read something over there. It says ATSC3. <laughs> you are going to be... Uh, integrating ATSC3 into this device, and you're working on that now, right? Absolutely, we're we're um, developing ATSC3 based version of the product. Now, it is you know physically different broadcast standard. It requires some difference in the hardware and the yep. tuner chips. So the current device you know can't be upgraded in software. 
It'll be a new variant of the product, a new uh, generation that includes the ATSC3 compatibility. And it will be obviously ATSC1 compatible as well. It'll do both. And uh, and and we're hard at work on that. But you know, for viewers that are are worried that is ATSC3 going to take over? Well, you know, maybe at some point, you know, in five to 10 years, but, you know, the, the current broadcast standards are that ATC1 will be around for a long time. Sure. So, sure. you know, the product they buy today, you know, will work perfectly. We'll get all their local TV. Um, ATSC3 just brings a new dimension, you know, when it's launched in your market. Well, for the record, my, my home is about 43 miles from the broadcast towers in Baltimore. And the signal quality is terrific. Uh, I'm getting all what I call the primary digital channels and then all the digital nets inside that, you know, channel 2A, 2B, 2C, all those. And and I've got like 71 channels there. But the most amazing thing is I have a DVR. I have a DVR without having cable or satellite. And that's a huge deal. Yeah, absolutely. And I think you probably experienced, at least on the main channels, the quality is better than cable and satellite because it tends to be compressed less. So you get yes. a better experience. Um, and best of all, as you said, it's free. You know, there's no cost. You know what? Not only is it better quality, I have to check it, but I'm picking up a broadcast signal. And so there's no latency involved as opposed to direct TV, which can be... 10 to 12 seconds later than broadcast getting to my home, which is interesting when you think about sports betting. Because yeah, to be fair, sports we, we betting, you want to be right on the yeah. money, right? Yep. Yeah. I mean, we, we do have a small delay because we are, you know, capturing that video and then sending it over your home network. So there's a bit of a delay involved in, in you know, grabbing those packets and then yeah, yeah, feeding yeah. them to the player, you know, just to make sure if your Wi-Fi drops out for a momentarily that we we can, you know, provide a good experience and a seamless picture. It's really interesting. But it is much less delay than than conventional technologies. Absolutely. Okay. We're about out of time. And and just tell us a little bit what's next for Tableau. What are you working on that we're going to see? Well, I think, I think the main thing, you know, is what we're doing with this new generation product is combining, you know, not just the OTA, that that's the part we've done in the past. It's combining the fast channels as well. And what's really revolutionary is you can also record the fast channels. So you can record them, you can uh, play them back at a later time, and you can also pause, you know, both uh, the fast channels and live TV, you know, the broadcast channels. So by combining those two things together, and we've created a user experience that we think is the best in the business. It's got, you know, home screen with recommendations. We really help you find content to watch. We surface things you recently recorded. You know, we we make recommendations. So it, it's really a, a wonderful experience to to find you know both the over the air content um, from the traditional broadcasters and all this fast content, curated content, and you know give you a, a seamless experience. You can't really tell which one you're viewing. They both look the same in terms of the overall uh, experience. And 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 at the end of the day, the consumer doesn't really care where it's coming from. He or she just wants it to work and wants to watch. Yes, and, and you know, the free aspect is kind of key as well. You don't, there's no subscription, there's no recurring fee, there's no monthly fee. Um, you, you buy the Tableau, you set it up and you've got access to all this content uh, absolutely for free. Okay, well, thank you, Grant Hall from Nuvio, makers of Tableau. I will tell you that you have solved my problem with Christmas presents for basically everybody in my extended family for this year. This is one great <laughs> Thanks, Rick. Right. Thank you very much, and we'll catch everybody again next week on Talk Back to Television.